I think I'm going to be alone forever. Dating is so hard when you are over 40. This is what dating in your 40s is like. Not really. <laughs> Story time. Did you know that being single in 2024 is an epidemic? In reality, being single in 2024 sucks. I don't want to be the breadwinner. I do not want to do that. You know what I want to do? I want to be home. I want to be cooking in the kitchen. I want to be no. cleaning. I want to be mm -mm. shopping. I want to be no. making brownies. I want to be cooking mm -mm. dinner. No. Making homemade meals it's a every lie. night. Almost Deception. Every night. No. I want to do all the things. You're I lying. I welcome my future husband home from work. I'm 41. And apparently nobody wants a 41-year-old woman that has her shit together. I mean, maybe I'm living in the wrong state. I feel like I am because I see all these really attractive older men on TikTok. I'm like, where are they in Ohio? They're not existent. I just want somebody maybe that looks like they could chop wood or they do outdoor stuff that just look really manly. And that's not, that's not happening here. But it's hard when you get older. It's really hard to meet somebody that you actually want to date and spend time with. So I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I just want to meet somebody that's right for me. But I'm not going to neglect the fact that I don't want to be single forever. I eventually want to find someone and to do that, I have to date. And dating sucks. To constantly feel like nothing ever works out for you is literally like a mind game and I'm tired. With a big bear hug. And no, hey, no. Hey, you ready for dinner? Dinner's on the table. I want to watch movies with him every night. I want mm -hmm. to send him off to work in the morning with some nice, freshly baked muffins. I don't want a mm -hmm. nine to five. No, it's not for me. Yes, I it is. I don't want it. It's yes, you not, do. I reject that. No, my you husband's don't. husband's going to be the breadwinner. He's going no, to he's not. in the dough. Mm -mm. He will be raking it in. I just had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and find love and I had another talking phase yet again fall through and my friend was like you know you'll meet the one one day don't give up but now I'm at a point where I hope I don't because what happens if I meet him and he wants kids and I'm too old to not be able to give him any so it's easier for me to say I don't want kids. And women with degrees don't marry men who right. don't have degrees. So. <laughs> That's like, great, you'll be lonely forever, aren't you? Why are you cheering that? I'm truly tired of God thinking I'm the strongest soldier. I've been having to do a lot of man things lately and stressing me out. I somehow have to get this oil in my car, but I can't get the top off because my acrylics are too long and I'm scared that I'm going to break them. And the other day, I had to put windshield wiper fluid in my car. What is going on? You know what? Trying to date in your 40s is, like, so frustrating. Like, when did we end up with all this, like, 42, 43, 44-year-old men that look like they're 60? Like, I'm 41, and it's so hard to find anybody that, like, looks their age. And then I be getting the ache, like, so fast. Like, I went on a date with this guy, and... He started like coughing weird. <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but like he was like coughing weird. And I was like, I can't date you because like that, like that cough is like so weird. Like all I see is like health liability, health liability. Like, come on, you know, 40, 50, you know, like I was like, I can't. So I decided that I guess I'm just going to stay single and get like six cats or whatever. <laughs> but yeah i don't recommend i i don't recommend find somebody before you're 40. like women over 35 the reason why we don't like certain conversations is because men do genuinely for the most part get better with time Ooh. Mm. and a lot of women don't because you aren't beautiful it anymore um. it's because you let life get on you um. and you stop taking care of yourself this is why dating in our generation is just so complicated. So in the talking stage, you're supposed to be interested, but not too interested. You're supposed to be flirty, but don't overdo it. And you're supposed to hang out, but not too much. It's just this massive gray area. You can't be too much of anything. But also, I, let me ask you something. How, how does it ever go anywhere? 
you have to assume that it won't, but that's also setting yourself up for failure. But then again, you're also not supposed to want it to go anywhere because then you were doing too much. It's just a mess. <laughs> Today I realized that I don't need no man. I want a man. I do. But I don't need him. I want him. But I don't need him. You know what I'm finding? Average women think they're better than average men. But honestly, what's wrong with being average? You can still be unique and be average. Every woman wants this exceptionally great guy, right? Um, when I say exceptional, that means he's uh, making at least six figures or doing really, really well for himself. He is good looking. Um, he has to be a certain height, just these crazy standards. But then sometimes these same women don't match physically, um, mentally. They don't even have, they're not even on the same wavelength as him when it comes to where they're going in life. So that's another thing. Since when being with an average guy is a bad thing. I need women to humble themselves, especially average women. You're no better than average men. Okay, updates. Two days ago. I sent this message saying like, if I'm really honest, I would love to see you again. And he left me undelivered, as I said in my previous video. <laughs> I just checked again. And 38 minutes ago, he opened it. He waited two days to open it. So at first he left me undelivered. And then he left me on red. All women are 304s. Nope. There is no such thing as traditional women anymore. Wrong. Women simply aren't worth it. What does that even mean? I am so tired of all of this negativity. Are you going to insist that masculinity is about growth, suffering, and overcoming difficult things, and then just not date because it's hard? Are some of you really so pessimistic and self-hating that you will just resign yourself to never feeling love and affection? Are you really going to sit here and insist that you have all of the answers to dating, and then just refuse to pass those answers on to a woman who is ready and willing to please you? What's up YouTube? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So on today's episode, we have these 40-year-old women plus who are complaining about the dating pool. They are complaining about how it is difficult to pull their dream men. Some of them even talk about how tired they are of being single and the lonely life and being independent and strong women and all that. At 40 years old, these women are now looking for a good man who will marry them, who will put the ring on their finger, who will take care of them, who will be the leader and all that. I don't know how come they are now finding out at 40 years old, but this sounds weird and strange to me. So as usual, I'm going to read the comments that came in. Let's see what men also in their 40s have to say to these women. Let's get into the comment section. Our first comment says, average women don't think they are average and they think they are better than average men. Well, this is true. No ring, no proposal, no wedding. You have the power. Stay safe, men. Every woman says they need real men. None of them ask what the real men need. That is why we have no Fs to give and that's a wrap. Well, this is true. Most of these women don't ask about what do men really want, what do men really need. They all talk about I need, I need, I want. I mean, it's giving narcissistic vibes, you know. No saving women, no cohabitation, no marriage, no divorce, no alimony, no child support. Result, happy life. Okay, this is what this man thinks. Let me know what you also think in the comments section. Best piece of advice that I've ever received as a man. Never sign a contract with someone who gets paid to break it. Stay focused, my brothers. Okay, so this is a piece of advice from this man. Male to female relationships have always benefited women. Men are finally learning the fact and aren't interested. Ooh, okay. Alright guys, this is where I am ending today's video. Let me know your opinions on this particular video. What do you think about this? Let's get interactive in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I promise you will love it here. Stay safe out there. Bye.